In this video, we'll show you how to authenticate and authorize your APIS on top of Kong with Okta using an OpenID Connect plugin. First, let's create a service that points to an Echo Upstream API. I'm using a public HTTP request and response service called HTTPBIN. I set the subpath to anything so the response will mirror my request. Next, create a route for this service so we can access it externally. Let's test our setup by accessing the service through Kong Gateway. Send a request to port 8000 of the Kong Gateway instance, using the demo subpath that we configured in the route. We received a 200 OK response, indicating that our configuration is correct. Next, let's configure the OpenID Connect plugin. Enable the plugin at the service level, then click on Enable to proceed with the configuration. First, Navigate to the security section in the Okta dashboard and go to the API page. Locate the issuer URI, copy it, and then paste it into the issuer settings of the OpenID Connect plugin. Next, locate the client ID and client secret in the application section. Copy these values and paste them into the corresponding fields in the OpenID Connect plugin configuration. Don't forget to check the available authentication methods. This will allow you to utilize the different flows supported by this plugin. Make sure to update the sign in redirect URI to the route we created on Kong. This ensures that after successful authentication, we can access the API. We will authenticate using the users listed in the people section of Okta. This means that all account information is managed by Okta, not Kong. Since OpenID Connect is now enabled, any request will be redirected to the Okta login page. Use the credentials of the user we created in Okta to log in. After successful authentication, you will be redirected to the API response that we previously onboarded onto Kong. Authorization in Kong and Okta is straightforward. First, let's examine the user's attributes. To do this, I use JWT.io to decode the user's JWT token and view the information. I can see that the SCP scope includes the OpenID attribute. I will use this attribute for my authorization demonstration. In the authorization tab of the OpenID Connect plugin, we can configure four required attributes. I changed the first scope name to SCP and set its value to DEV. If the logged in user does not have the necessary dev value in the SCP scope, the plugin will block the traffic and respond to the client with an error code. Since our user does not have the dev attribute, the response is forbidden, indicating that the authorization has failed. If I change the required scope to open ID, which the user possesses, the OpenID Connect plugin can verify this with Okta and allow the traffic to pass. After updating the settings, the same user who was previously blocked can now successfully pass both authentication and authorization. In conclusion, Kong seamlessly integrates with third-party identity providers like Okta, this integration provides you with the flexibility to manage your APIS using powerful identity management tools. Thank you for watching. See you next time.